This is an Alex question for homework 3, 5, and 3, 6, and this is question number 7. And here we want to find the polynomial with a given degree and given zeros. And this is just one of the examples um, that you could have. So it says find a polynomial, it's f of x, and they give me that the degree is 4. And they tell me that I want to have the following zeros. I want to have 3, negative 4, and 1 minus i. So the degree of 4 tells me that I'm searching for 4 total zeros. So if I create my list of zeros, I have x equals 3, x equals negative 4, and they also provided me with x equals 1 minus i. I'm missing the fourth zero. And it comes from the pair that goes with the imaginary or complex zero. So it would be the conjugate of 1 minus i or 1 plus i. So there's my list of four zeros. Next we turn the zeros into factors. And the way we turn them into factors is we come over here and we set it equal to zero. So I'm going to minus three and I get x minus three is one factor. Here I would add four to the x, so I get x plus four is another factor. And then here I would have x and I would have to subtract the one and I would have to add the i over. So I have x minus 1 plus i. Then I, on the last 0 I would have x minus 1 minus the i. So we set up our list of zeros, turn them into factors by setting them equal to 0 and getting it with x. Now what I want to do is start with my polynomial. So if my polynomial is f of x, I'm going to write my real factors first. So in factored form it's x minus 3 times x plus 4 times x minus 1 plus i times x minus 1 minus i. And here you want to just foil things out. So you're going to take your um, two real factors and foil that out or use the double distribution. So x times x is x squared, x times 4 positive 4x, four then I have negative 3x, negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. So this simplifies to x squared, and then 4 take away 3 is positive 1x minus 12. Now I come over to these two factors, which were the complex factors, and I can see that I do have a pattern here, and so if you can always set up this pattern, it makes it a lot easier. I have x minus 1 plus i, x minus 1 minus i. This will always follow the pattern of a difference of two squares, a plus b times a minus b. In this case, a is the x minus 1 group, and b is the i. Now the way that we find the product of a difference of two squares is it's going to be a squared minus b squared. So the shortcut to foiling this complex conjugate out is I'm going to set it up as a squared minus b squared, and so I have the group x minus 1 quantity squared minus the imaginary i squared. To simplify this, we have a problem within a problem. We have to expand out x minus 1 squared, um, so that's really x minus 1 times x minus 1, and there is a shortcut to um, foiling that out. And then also we have to remember that i squared is always negative 1. So this becomes minus a negative 1. So let's foil out x minus 1 times x minus 1. We get x squared minus 1x minus 1x plus 1. Then minus negative 1 becomes adding 1 at the end. So then this is x squared minus 2x plus 2 when I collect like terms. Let's bring down that x squared plus x minus 12, and then I have this solution of x squared minus 2x plus 2. This is my polynomial. I'm almost done. Now that I've foiled out those individual groups, I just need to foil this out. So I have to do triple distribution next. So x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times negative 2x is negative 2x to the third. x squared times 2 is positive 2x squared positive x times x squared is positive x to the third. Positive x times negative 2x is negative 2x squared. And positive x times 2 is positive 2x. Finally, 
negative 12 times x squared is negative 12x squared, negative 12 times negative 2x, positive 24x, and negative 12 times 2 is negative 24. The last step is to collect like terms and write this polynomial in descending order. So I have x to the fourth, I have negative 2x cubed plus 1, that would be negative 1x cubed. For the x squareds, I have 2x squared, take away 2x squared, so that's gone. And then I have negative 12x squared remaining. For the x's, I have positive 2x plus 24 is positive 26x. And then I have minus 24 for my constant term at the end. So this represents the original polynomial, that's a fourth degree polynomial, and if we went through the methods in this chapter of listing the possible rational zeros, the p over q, and then using synthetic division to find the zeros that would work, we would be able to discover that this polynomial has the zeros of 3, negative 4, and then we would use the quadratic formula to figure out that the other zeros are 1 minus i and 1 plus i. So you can see here that there's lots of opportunities to make careless mistakes. So if you're working this out on Alex, be very careful with all of your math and double check everything before you go with your final answer. You can see more videos pertaining to this kind of a question in the Lesson 3-6 on Blackboard.